I just realized. That's how you get the stinking shrimp. Ha <laughs> ha! Score one for me. Anyway, hello everyone, and welcome back to Scooby-Doo Unmasked. In the last episode, we rescued Shaggy from the sewers. And in this episode, we're going to have to go rescue Daphne, who's been kidnapped. Yeah. Let's -a go! Okay, mainly this level is honestly like one of my favorite ones, like uh, aesthetically, like it looks super nice. Though there are some moments in this level that I don't like and I'll get to it. Well, moments that I forget, didn't know how to master till recently because there's one thing that constantly tripped me up before my recent playthrough where I figured out how to finally get, how to finally do it. But anyway, we'll get to that whenever it happens. So anyway, gonna go ahead and Grab all of these, uh, get some rubber, and defeat all these rats that are over here. And what we gotta do is hit this gong. So then more parts of the level will open up. Or in this case, platforms will rise. Yeah, or just the one platform. Yeah, that's like the big gimmick that this level has is gongs. And they'll be scattered throughout. And then... <sighs> I hate the grappling ho or the hooks in this game. No, okay, I used to hate them, because now I got it just fine. But as a kid, these parts would mess me up, because I didn't know I was supposed to hold it. And, oh. Hi, Mr. Ninja. Anyway, uh, yeah, like all the rest of the enemies in this game, you're going to go down two rolls. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. I love how they make all these enemies intimidating, yet they're stinking easy to take care of once you know what to do. And I do know what to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll all over these spiders. And can I go anywhere different? Not yet. Okay, both of those are going to rise. Very nice. So let's see. I know I can do... I can find some cool stuff. Not cool stuff, but more so... More in greens. But no, that just brings me back to the other parts of this level that I just caught past. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead... And jump on these platforms, wait for this one to rise, there we go. And let's see, some Scooby Snacks, that's very nice, but I believe if we head down here and jump across, hello, chocolate bar. Oh. Very nice. Breaking that open now, so I can go ahead and jump all the way up here, break that, get some Scooby Snacks, even though my health is already full, and oh, another ninja. <laughs> uh, these guys just keep going down very, very easily. I just realized there's probably an easier way for me to get that chocolate bar, but I wanted to do it the other way, because that's usually the way I do get it. Break this gong. So then those will rise. And let's see. Jump. Yeah. Careful, Scooby. Gotta wait a bit. For this to rise again. There we go. And I know there is a clue somewhere here. I just forgot where to get it, and that's not good, because I actually really need those clues. <laughs> Alright, bye, Zen Duo. It should be around here somewhere. Oh, hi, dude. That was unintentional, but hey, he's back again. But he fell down with me, I mean. Gosh, okay. So let's just go ahead and go up here. Oh. Can you let me go up here, please? Or do I have to do it like this? There we go. <laughs> Got it. Well, that's going to rise. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to do another check of this level really quick just to make sure I got everything in this opening area. So, uh, well, after I get this mobber really quick. There we go. So... Be back in one moment, because I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I think I found it. Ha-ha! <laughs> got it. That usually always trips me up. What dump was that? Anyway. Now that I actually got that, we can just... Yeah, I was originally just going to cut that, but... Oh, boy. Hey, I got it anyway, so... Let's just go ahead and jump on this platform over here. Wait a moment jump on the other plat- well, jump on this one here, wait again, jump, and booyah! On to the next segment, so, the 
this area is also pretty simple. It just got like some platforms as usual and crud like that. And some more like hidden items. It's very similar to the previous area that we were in, but that's eh, still fun. All right, so gonna go jump over here. I I think I should worry more about getting some more of the mubber because I remember that this area requires quite a lot in order to get the food item. So I need to keep that in mind. Perfect. So I'm gonna just go and take care of some of these rats down here. There we go. Got some more mubber. Very, very nice. And let's see. Jump over here. Oh, hi, ninja. I kind of need to kick your butt here, man. There we go. It usually takes like four spin attacks, but the roll counts as two hits, so that works as well. Ah, crud. Yeah. Gotta be careful, crud. I got hit. That's fine. I got a lot more health now, so I don't have to worry too much about getting hit, but I still need to, you know, worry. Sometimes I still need to be on guard just in case. Just, you never know, even though there's not much of a punishment for dying. And ooh, another clue. Alright, jump over here. Get the gong. And those platforms can start moving, and I believe... There's something down here. Okay, there's an enemy for me to fight. Hello, Kung Fu girl. As Scooby puts it. And... Gonna get rid of that. There we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's how I'm supposed to get back up. And I believe there's an item down there. That or a trap piece. I believe it's the trap piece that's gonna be down there. You know, I'm gonna explore down here for a little bit, because I know there's some stuff. Well, just some rats and mubber, and I actually really... I think it's in the 200s that I need uh, to get that food item. Um, yeah, so... Just gonna jump across here again. Not much over there, honestly. Just some more mubber for you to get. Which, trust me, you, you want to get it. <laughs> Going across... Very nice. Now I need to wait for these platforms to come back. Come back, please. Thank you. And that guy's gonna be a jerk, but I'm gonna hit this gong anyway, so hey, I'm unaffected. But by that guy's scare, even though it doesn't matter anyway. And if I remember correctly, heading down here. Okay, there's a kung fu Okay. No, there's just an enemy here for me to deal with. Alrighty. She's done for so now I'm gonna go across here again go go through this platform well, jump across those platforms again yeah okay that's gonna kind of scare but oh well I need to jump over here yeah there perfect and now I can just well drop down here because well oh, no. the trap piece got it and I believe that's it for the stuff over here. Yeah, just some more rats. I think I've hit the threshold, but I'm going to take care of them anyway. There we go. Got a bit more mubber. Very nice. And I'm just going to go take care of that rat hole. Very, very nice indeed. And hello, gong. Yeah, those platforms are going to start moving and I believe okay there's just Scooby snacks down there where is that next food item I hope I didn't miss it I, I mean those are necessary for 100% completion but at the same time I don't know ah shoot do I have to fall down because I'm kind of stuck here or can I oh huh I can't actually climb up there I did not know that. Anyway. Jumping through here. Let's see what's going to be over here. I believe just another... Oh, no. Kung Fu Girls. Just expecting a ninja. Right. More mubber. They really want to make sure that you have enough for that food item. And now... 
Oh, hey, other ninja. Ooh, another gong. Connected those platforms. And even though I can go the right way, I believe that's what? Well, I... Oh, no, 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 this is the other thing, so... Yeah, you need a dump ton of mubber for this thing. I was actually a little bit off on my... On the amount I needed crud, but luckily, uh... Yeah, I got it now. Oh! Oh, wait. Doesn't properly say how much, it just says your overall total food. I keep forgetting that that's like that for some dumb reason. That doesn't say how much food you got in the level as a whole, because they're carryover. I guess they always expect you to just... Um dump it all off into Shaggy's um, place, but oh well. Gonna go and just take care of- Oh wait, there's the last food item! There we go! Okay, so that's it for this level, basically. We just only have one more thing to go, and it's gonna be a doozy. Gosh. And let's break that. Very, very nice. Yeah, might as well break these as well. Now here we are. Now we need to go save Daphne. And luckily I have enough mu Actually, that doesn't take any mumper. And now I can show off the cool blue suit. Uh, so you know the ground pound attack that- Well, the, um, air attack that I complain about a lot? That got replaced with this cool move. It's actually really good. Oh, great. Hey, guys! Hi! Let's take you all out. Yeah, basically, you just gotta deal with a bunch of enemies. And then you can go free Daphne. And, well, this new version of Scooby is, like, the blue Scooby. Or, in this case, Super Saiyan Blue Scooby. <laughs> oh, gosh. I remember showing, like, one of my friends uh, an image of this that... Of uh, the Scooby outfit and everything, and he was just like, What the dump? <laughs> uh, it was glorious. Anyway, you're like Scooby doing like the his like charge move, and it was just it was just funny. Anyway, now that all the enemies have been dealt with very easily, I can now just go and break all these well, break all these gongs so I can climb up and save Daphne. So that's cool. And then next gong is right here. There we go, and now we just need platforms to climb up. And there's this one right here. Perfect. Now just need to go climb, and we'll be good, though. Enemies will be here for some dumb reason, because, like, there's... The ninjas will pop up out of nowhere like so! And they're red now! Ooh, spooky. <laughs> uh, they're, they're nothing to worry about, really. They're very simple. And, uh, no, 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 uh, okay, <laughs> okay, just need to climb up a decent amount, and just gonna take care of that guy, he was, that guy was very easy. Okay, almost to the top, got the final clue for this level, and now there goes that guy, and there we go! Hmm, I wonder if I could get a suit like that. And that's the end of the level, and... Daphne has been rescued. Very nice. This is a packing slip for UV lamps. This could explain the strange light coming from the dragon's eyes. This is a menu for a neighborhood restaurant. Maybe Zen Tuo's hideout is there. This is a lever to activate a crane. Could Zen Tuo be using it to hold up the dragon in the air? Okay. We've got a few questions in front of us, and the answer to each one is a clue. All right, so I need to pick all the answers correctly. Uh, let's go for the joint fortune cookie. The fortune inside the giant cookies. It's the computer code used to reprogram the robots. Hmm, where do you think that dragon came from? Uh, let's show her the dragon scale. You're right, Scooby. The dragon scale is made out of mubber. Which means it was made by monstrous fright and magic. Ho Fong said the dragon had strange eyes. I wonder what he meant. Good answer. Z 
Zen Tuo must have put UV lamps inside the dragon's eyes to deal with any renegade animatronics. I've got it, Scooby. I know who the real culprit is. Let's find the others. Okay. Look, it's Zen Tuo. So, you thought you could defeat Zen Tuo. You and your mutt are no match for me. Mutt? Alrighty then, guys. So that's actually going to end off this episode of Scooby-Doo Unmasked. In the next episode, we're going to go take down Zen 2 So I'll see you all then, guys. Bye! <laughs>